What's up guys? So in the past five years, I've been using and posting videos on Android TV boxes and usually it's the good stuff, uh, recommendations and uh, what you can do with an Android TV box, right? But in today's video, I'm going to talk about something different. I'm going to be looking at the Android TV box from a different angle. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you the problems that are associated with Android TV box. Number one, security risks. So you see that most of these Android TV boxes, especially the cheap ones, are not really manufactured by reputable companies and they do not have any security at all built in, any built-in security. So it's very easy for hackers to hack your system via that uh, Android TV box. And the other thing is that those pre-installed applications that comes with the Android TV box are not really from reputable um, developers or from trusted sources. So what will stop someone from installing a software or an application that has a bug so that that person will be able to just get into your system via that Android TV box. So that's one of the biggest problems with Android TV boxes, security. And number two, poor performance. Overall, those Android TV box perform poorly. Unless maybe you buy those high-end Android TV boxes of which those ones are expensive. So you see that all these uh, cheap ones that you see on the market will be having very low specs. They'll be having a very small RAM that will affect the overall performance. And also the processor will be very slow and the box will freeze every now and again. And sometimes it will totally crash. And on number three, limited contents. Okay, so there are a lot of applications that you can install on your Android TV box to view a lot of um, streaming services, right? To access a lot of streaming services, right? But you see now that there will be compatibility issues sometimes with the content that you get, especially when you're using a cheap Android TV box. So at the end of the day, the content that you can access with that Android TV box will be limited compared to if I had to use maybe an Apple TV or a smart TV. And so number four, we have compatibility issues. This is now when, you're, when you want to connect to Android TV boxes, to things like TVs, to things like sound systems and all other gadgets that you might want to use your Android TV box with. There are some TVs obviously that will, will have no issues uh, connecting to the Android TV box, but there are some where you might find difficulties in connecting. So you might end up needing to buy maybe special adapters for you to be able to connect your Android TV box to TVs, so that would be an extra cost. It's on number five, and this is a big one, legal issues. So you see that most, uh, about 90% actually, of all the Android TV boxes that are on the market are not Google certified. And if an Android TV box is not Google certified, it means you will not get the proper Google Play. And without the proper Google Play, you won't be able to install genuine applications. So you end up using pirated applications and that can land you in trouble. So if you decide to buy an Android TV box, make sure it's Google certified so that you won't get yourself in trouble. And I'll also put some links in the description so that you can go and check out proper Google certified Android TV box. And number six, limited support. So you see that most of these Android TV boxes do not have any software updates. And if they have, it's, it will be very difficult for you to get those updates or even install them. All right, and then the other thing is that if, let's say I have an Apple gadget, right? And something happens to my Apple gadget, I know that I can go to an Apple technician. There are a lot of Apple stores around so that you can just go there and get your device fixed. And you can also go to the Apple website and then you'll be able to get help or you can find a technician near you. But with most of these Android TV boxes now, we don't even know the manufacturer and there is no support whatsoever, even online. And some of them, they do not even have uh, a website where you can go and ask for help. So it means if anything happens to your Android TV box, it's all on you. you. You can't go anywhere to get it fixed. So that's a very big problem with these Android TV boxes. And number seven, user interface. You know, these Android TV boxes, sometimes they're very confusing interface and it's difficult for you, it will be difficult for you to use that Android TV box. You really have to be an expert on those other TV box for you to, to navigate to settings. You know, the simple things like settings will be hidden and it will be difficult for you to operate uh, that other TV box. So when you're buying, check the interface first if it's friendly before you buy. Otherwise, you end up being in trouble trying to operate your other TV box. And on number eight, dependence on the internet. So you see that most of the content that you access 
with an Android TV box is via the internet. So it means if you do not have an internet connection or if your connection is not strong enough, you will not enjoy your Android TV box. There's very little that you can do without the internet. So this is it. If you have any questions or if you have something to add, just write in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've liked this video. And if this was your first time coming to this channel, go down there and click on subscribe and also hit that bell so that you'll see all our future videos. My name is the Duke of Tech. See you on the next one.